Hello and welcome to another unexpected results. <coughs> We're back in Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2015, and I'm here with some multiplayer with Chris. Hi. The, the smooth-looking vampire. Damn straight. Who's in the zone? All kinds of smooth-looking. Yeah. And uh, you've you've got one of the uh, more base decks, don't you? Yes, yeah. yeah I've, so I've basically been in a strad and Theros grinding. Yeah. So. And uh, since last recording, an unexpected results in M15, where I did the tutorial zone and somehow failed on one of them because I wasn't bothering to pay attention, um, I've completed the game once. So yeah. my deck is more flexible, and so I have a slight advantage. We shall see, though. So if I don't win, I, can, uh, <laughs> I can't put it down to, oh, I, you had better cards, because yeah. he clearly didn't. <laughs> Unless yeah. you do, you might just pull like ridiculous. Maybe. You never know. I think it's probably unlikely, though. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it's, not, hand it's not a great first hand, I'll be honest with you. Mine's okay. I've got a couple of land, I've got a couple of things I can play with those land. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, and you play is it, don't you? Uh, generally, that's the the couple I started with. So. Yeah. As I'm running my favourite, mono no, white. Yeah. Could you start monocolored in this game? I don't think you could. Could you? Uh, you can't. But after unlocking a bunch, I made a monocolored deck. Yeah, fair and enough. Was just like, because <laughs> I wanted to run mono blue to begin with, and then tech it up with just red burn. Yeah. But no. Can't do that. Not allowed to do that, apparently. You don't <laughs> start with enough cards to go monocolored. No, which is a shame. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah. So you guys start off with a uh, raise the alarm, and you start with a maritime guard. Indeed. Who isn't from the M15 set? I don't know what's no. that from. No, I don't. I think the art is new, but I, I feel like it's an old one. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Very well informed in these circumstances, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one thing with uh, jewels is because they just use random cards from all of time. And it's just like I don't know what set that's from. <laughs> yeah. Whereas some of the newer ones I can I know. Screw. Some of these ones. Oh. Oh no. I'll just take one damage. I'm fine, fine with them. Mm. I get to swing back for two, so. Yeah. Unless you now just play something like ridiculous. And just be like, no. Nah. I don't have any. Come on, I don't have anything ridiculous. What are you helping yeah. about? <laughs> so, I can then. <coughs> pump this guy down. The, uh. Avacyn card? Mentor of the Meek? Yeah, I think he has been before, hasn't he, though? Uh, I do believe so, yeah. I think he was like M13 or something as well. Yeah. And I'll just kill him, because I don't like him. You're not having free things for raising the alarms. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Just like, draw more cards. Draw all the more cards. Yeah. The one thing I do like about this is uh, the general action timer has sped up. Yeah. And then they've got, like, an overall turn timer. Yeah, like they do in uh, MTG Online. Yeah, so that you can't just be like, I'm just going to sit here and wander off. <laughs> Yeah. And just really annoy the person I'm playing against. Moon Heron. Indeed. Oh, three, two. Damn. Three, two, flyer. Getting in deep, and then pull out an angel on my arm. Right I see this coming. Uh, I was debating <laughs> doing that, or I was debating <laughs> doing this. I don't even know what that does. Replicate spirits. I'm guessing someone's three spirits. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that coming. <laughs> Suspicious three flying spirits. For the price of convoking down two of my soldiers. Yeah. I think it was worth it. I'd agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just listening to things going on in your background. Yeah. The talk of Sunny D and Chewitz pricked my ears. My attention. Uh. I was just like. Yeah, well, there's not much I can do about that. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly. Sounds good. Yeah, well, I've got headphones on, so I can't hear. I can't hear what's going on. So, in fact, you you have more information of what's going on around me than I do. 
Nice. Same with Theron as Johnny's pride, mate. Boop, boop. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. These hefty beatdowns. Put down attendant night as well. All them tokens. Yeah. Yes. Your knight is so attended. I know. Has all the soldiers and spirits guarding. Yeah. He's like, carry come, my come on, Moon sword. Heron. Moon Heron, you've got this, bro. Um. Come on, Moon Heron. Stand up to the horde. Yeah, the problem is you can just, like, block the hell out of me, so I can't really attack. <laughs> so just gotta yeah. kind of sit here. Yeah, it's because Moon Heron's the best. Yeah. Moon Heron just wins games, downright. It's a good card. Yeah. Power plays. Power plays yeah. there. And all that mm -hmm. land you got there. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. Ooh, Sounds nice. Sounds what I'm doing. That's a good Mo pull. Moon Heron, which just got even better. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Can I go Palisade Giant? Nice. Just, uh, skip through all my combat because I'm not going to be <laughs> swinging out with stuff yet. Well, you could have wanted. I could, but anything I swing out with would just like insta die. Yeah. Oh god, more flyers. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because I almost know what I'm doing, sometimes, maybe, kinda. Mm. I like that he kept in the... The old Windrake art, isn't it? Uh, I, no, I think... Oh, I think it is the old... Yeah, I think you're right, it is the old Windrake art. Nice. Yeah. No, it's just a sign. Go on. I just have to kill that moon hit, Drake. The Fair moon enough. Heron. Mm -hmm. yeah. Took out all my spirits, but... No, it didn't. It... The uh, policy giant, remember? Oh, it still kills my spirit though. Oh no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It deals the damage to the Palisade Giant. Yeah. I think yeah, it's all damage dealt to me. It's dealt to Palisade Giant. But it's all damage dealt to all my stuff is dealt to Palisade Giant. That's ridiculous. See, I didn't plan for that. And then I paid attention for a second. I'm like, oh, hang on a second. No. Don't worry. Oh, I didn't plan for that either. <laughs> yeah. Let's throw down a. <sighs> ordeal. On your first strike, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. It's, it's going well. It's going annoying well. with the uh, wee plunk. So you have one option for blocking. Yeah. Or you can just like multi block the hell out of it to try and kill Palisade Giant. No, not worth it. <laughs> yeah. No, not even remotely worth it. This is all to get my uh, Ajani Pride mates from countless. Yeah. Come on, Pride mate. No. Yeah, Palisade Giant is a lot stronger than I thought it was. It's pretty bitching, man. Yeah. Pretty bitching. I thought it was like all damage dealt to the player is dealt to Palisade Giant instead, so it's like you've got to deal 7 damage in a turn to kill Palisade Giant to then start hitting me. No. But it is just all yeah. damage. I have a feeling you might just win this one, I'm afraid. Afraid to yeah. say. I think the Palisade Giant can just soak up the worst of it. Yeah. Pretty strong. But, I don't know, we kind of saw this coming at the beginning, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some of those extra counters for the Ajani's to pride, mate. Bloop. Yeah, mono white. Indeed. All kinds of mono white. Swing with this one again and go plunk. Oh, I guess I'll throw this guy in front of it. And then he'll lie. Because, you know. Yeah. That's Maritime how guard. It's, Did yeah. well for a two drop. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Got some. He's got a pretty high defense, to be fair, for a two drop. Yeah. Like his, his generic power level is reasonable. That's pretty good. And now I'm top decking. But I should be fine because I've got like all the creatures and 23 <laughs> yeah. life, so. Yeah, I, I can't, to be fair, I can't really bust through that wall of stuff. The Moon Heron. Yeah. Come on, Moon Heron. You got this, bro. You can totally, totally get this. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So. 
Swinging to that. To get up to five. Plunk that down right to give it some lifelink. And I'm not going to block it. You're not going to block it. I'm not going to block that. I'm just getting some counters on my agile yeah. probably. To, to be honest, I feel like this game's basically over now. Yeah. If the, if this was in like an FNM, I'd just concede at this point and move on, move along, yeah, move along, like, gents. Yep. Let's see here. <laughs> Superior cards. Yeah. Just That's just how, make how the happens. game. Yeah. yeah. So what I think we'll do yeah. is for next time, because yeah. I think I might. Sorry. We've got like four minutes left of this episode. <laughs> So this oh. game has taken the 15 minutes. You have oh, survived okay. yeah. the white well, onslaught. Yeah. And uh, probably next time I'll take one of the... Unless you unlock more cards, then I'll probably take one of the yeah, basic yeah, we'll setup see. ones. Yeah. And we can... Uh, Is there a basic... Are there basic setup ones now? Uh, if you... Uh, yeah. Click to create a new deck and pick from the presets, which you get from playing through the story, oh, okay. they uh -huh. basically just are yeah. preset guild... Yeah. Decks. Oh, interesting. Yeah, as I say, because I I noticed that um, each section had its own specific card pool. So the moment I noticed that, I uh, I started just immediately grinding out Innistrad cards to be like, yep. Yeah, just I want the vampires. Yeah. Well, it's vampires. less the, it's less the vampires more. I just want all the things. Yeah. That's it. I went straight to Theros and was just like Theros cards, and I got a Bramaz, which is pretty damn awesome. Nice. And I was like, yep, mono white. So is Bramaz just part of the um, non premium card pool in this game then? Uh, I got him from the Explore. Explore? Oh, uh, explore, when you yeah. complete an area, it, you get yeah, the Explore. Yeah, you can, you you can just... choose to explore a thing, yeah. And then you choose to fight a random battle. Yeah. For an for a, uh, I battle. think there's like four per zone. Yeah. And then there's like one which is a planeswalker. Yeah. And he's like a kind of boss of the explorer zone. Uh, no, no, yeah. Yeah. Victory for turn one. Game one. Yeah. Yes, so that was another little taste of Jewels of the Planeswalkers for unexpected results. Next week will be another cracker pack. As I have more packs. All the packs. I can't really? wait to see what's in them. What did, what did you get? No, no, I'm sorry about that uh, Last week I pulled a this chain is. veil and a spirit bond nice and previously to that I pulled an Ajani and his emblem so I've got some pretty good pulls out of M15 so far so did you buy an M15 box then? Uh, I've bought a fat pack oh, that's pretty sweet so huh? really it gives me enough uh, cracker pack footage uh, yeah. for unexpected results until Khans comes out where I will then yeah. buy another fat pack and do the same Nice. So I've got my I've got my plan. Nice. Yeah, Although, totally, uh, totally see that happening. Theo totally bought a booster box, I think. Uh, yeah, I was thinking he, of getting one. He <laughs> pulled a foil sliver hive lord. Sweet. Cause ridiculous. And I don't yeah. think I have good enough stuff to trade with. So him. he basically pulled the money card. Yeah. Apart from maybe a foil Garrick. I don't know. Uh foil soul of Neuphrexia. Uh, like I guess yeah. Indestructible six six for six. <laughs> That can make other things in the stream. I guess, yeah, yeah, that's pretty strong. So I'll take that. I don't know though, because yeah, it does. It, how much does it cost? Four mana? Five mana to make something indestructible? Um, that's at most an extra thing a turn. Yeah. Right? But it's all colourless, so it's like if you're running just a, like, a right. mono green ramp deck from Theros. I guess. And it's just like, cool, I just make like five creatures indestructible every turn and just yeah. keep swinging. That's a point. With the new blue cards, I might uh, might fix up my blue, black, green. Yes, yeah. I did pull a Insole Artifact, which looks really good. If oh, you run these like, scissors. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. I, so, I want them so bad. It's like, <laughs> I've just been thinking of tactics for it. Yeah. And I automatically went, hmm, a Staff of Magus, and then Insole the Artifact. Yes. It's just like, cool, yeah. it's a 5-5 five, five creature that every time I play a blue card, I gain life. Yeah. So it's, it's like a ridiculously good... Um, Nick's yeah. fleece ram. The thing I want to do. But then someone meteor. pointed out that you can do it on like the ornithopter. Yes, to make a five-five flying. It becomes a five-seven flyer. Oh, does it get plus five plus five? I thought it just became oh, no, a five-five artifact. Possibly. I would need to look that up. Yeah, I thought its power and toughness became five-five. Could well be. 
but yes, yeah, that is yeah. the end of the episode. Thank you all for <laughs> watching, and uh, ciao. We will play more magic at some point during yeah. unexpected results. Goodbye.